we are making stannous chloride, also known as tin chloride, because I want to make some tin crystals. And in order to do that, you need some tin chloride. I'm Jonathan Allers, and this is Luke the Science Guy. We're back to teach you some chemistry. So, tin chloride is made up of two different things. Tin and chloride. It's pretty much it. Tin chloride. Also called stannous chloride because naming is stupid. So, first of all, you're going to need some tin nuggies. So, I got these tin nuggies off of Amazon, and they're just little nuggets of tin. But these are each about 50 grams, and we don't need them that big. So, the first step is going to be melting them down in a pot, right? Yep. Yeah. This is destructive creativity. We are here for you, for fun, and for science. So, if any of those things appeal to you, make sure you click that bell icon and the subscribe button. All right. We're going to get right into this by melting some tin. Why are we melting tin? We're melting tin just to get it into a nice thin sheet so we can cut it into small pieces. So now we have a big old sheet of tin. Now we melted two nuggets of tin, which is approximately 100 grams, and that's not what we need. We're going to do how many? About 10 grams. 10 grams. So we're going to use Luke's scale. We're actually using tin snips for tin, which is fairly rare for us. 9.71, 10.04, we can get 10. <laughs> it's not that important. Dang. <laughs> we're at 9.99 .99 grams. Close enough. Tin is one of those metals with an interesting property called the tin cry. It's named for tin, so when you bend it, the crystals in the tin break and it makes a distinct sort of crackling noise. So we're going to try to hopefully pick that up here. I really hope you guys can hear this because I can hear it. It's a very cool sound. Remember, don't get hydrochloric acid in your eyes, otherwise you'll go blind. Hey! <laughs> This reaction actually can take place a lot faster than what we're going to do, but we don't have a spinner that has a heated top. So we're just going to mix it all together and then let it mix for a long time, probably overnight. And hopefully in the morning we'll come up with some tin chloride. So what are you doing over there? I'm just measuring out some hydrochloric acid. Getting some fumes in my nose. Is hydrochloric acid on the table? Tis. We did spill some hydrochloric acid, so we're just going to do some quick cleanup on the table so we don't wreck the finish. This is sodium carbonate, which is just a really nice base to neutralize the muriatic acid. This is a nice lesson on what to do if you spill acid. And if it... If we see fizzing, then we didn't clean it enough. No fizzing. We cleaned it a good enough. Oh my gosh, there's acid everywhere. I'm gonna die. No, just wipe it up. So we have our hydrochloric acid. We're just going to add this to our beaker. And then we just add our tin to the beaker. This is going to take a very long time to actually dissolve the tin into the hydrochloric acid. It's not a fast reaction at all. And just to protect Jonathan's house from hydrochloric acid fumes, we're just going to put some saran wrap over it. So you may be able to see some bubbles coming off of the tin. That's hydrogen gas as the tin slowly dissolves. So we'll just leave that and it'll dissolve very slowly. We'll see you in like 12, maybe 18 hours. Bye! Bye. I'm not going to lie, this took way longer than I was expecting. In fact, this has been sitting for almost three weeks. Now, there are ways you can make this go faster, either by having it on a stir plate or a heated stir plate is best because it'll go way faster if it's warmed up. But I purposely left it just sitting on a shelf in a spot that it wasn't going to be disturbed just to see how long it would take for the tin to be completely dissolved. And we have about 40 milliliters of tin chloride, stannous chloride. You can use stannous chloride as a reducing agent. I want it because I want to make some 
uh, tin crystals. Both electrically and chemically create tin crystals using stannous chloride. And that's pretty much it. I really look forward to making those episodes in the future, so stay tuned. I'll link them up above once I get around to actually filming them, but who knows how long that's going to be because I'm pretty busy with other, some other stuff right now. But I do have more stuff coming out next Wednesday morning, so stay tuned, hit that subscribe button, and stay safe. Also, don't eat this and don't get it on your skin. Just basic safety precaution. Bye!